A few days ago, a raid was conducted at Rimpu Bagan in Tura, where information had been received by the police of illicit activities that were taking place at the farmhouse of the MDC of the Garo Hills Autonomous District Council, Bernard Marak. Following this incident, the MDC had absconded to escape police dragnet. However, on Tuesday, 26 July 2022, Marak was arrested at Uttar Pradesh. Immediately, the Meghalaya police were informed of the arrest and as per sources, the arrested MDC will be brought to Meghalaya on Wednesday, 27th July 2022 for further investigation into the matter. Following the arrest of the MDC, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Conrad K. Sangma, had responded to queries on the raid and also the subsequent arrest of Bernard Marak in Uttar Pradesh. The DGP had called me saying that uh, the uh, concerned individual has been picked up and uh, now he will be brought to Tula. Now, I think uh, if you look at the evidence, um, I don't think it requires too much of uh, you know too much of thought to really come to a conclusion on what was going on inside because uh, the evidence that was found, the kind of activities that were going on um, and the kind of statements that are coming out now from individuals is clearly reflecting that definitely uh, there was something fishy going on inside and as I said I don't want to go into details uh, it's not my uh, you know my responsibility to speak about that right now as I said the, the investigations are going on so let the SP and others speak but what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, uh, whatever any party may say this has nothing to do with politics this has nothing to do with any kind of uh, candidature or any kind of individual contesting against anybody this is purely on the basis of what was going wrong inside there, purely on the basis of the evidence and the statements that have been given by the people, uh, and also purely on the basis of complaints that have come in. So therefore, uh, uh, they may try to divert the entire uh, issue and try to politicize it, uh, but let me assure each and every one that the evidences that have been collected are very strong and there's a very strong case. The DGP had given a very strong statement last time you recorded that. Um, so I don't think, I don't see any reason for uh, any of us to go into that aspect. And I would appeal to political leaders that uh, in situations like these, we must understand what is happening and try to do what is correct. And uh, you know, these kind of activities is something that uh, uh, will you know, ultimately uh, lead to affecting our youth of the state. So one has to realize that and be responsible in whatever position you are to realize that these kind of things cannot just go on like that. And as I said, that is it enough proof and evidence to show that um, you know, activities which are not right were going on inside there. So that's all I have to say. Um, I don't want to really politicize this. I think there's been too much of politics around this issue. Uh, the core issue is that uh, the evidence was found there has been statements that have been recorded and uh, uh, enough uh, you know, process and all the details have been done to conclude that uh, there's a very strong case and the court also has given a non bailable warrant against it, which means that uh, there's enough evidence of different kind of activities that are going on in there and there's no need to politicize this issue.